to day four of VBS Crafts. Today we're going to be doing some origami. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of that, but Jean Margaret is modeling our um, origami bracelets. So we're going to make them in black, red, green, yellow, and, and blue. blue. Um, and like we talked about on day two, um, all those colors represent the different continents that compete in the Olympics. Um, so origami usually refers to the art of folding paper but it also started um, with people folding cloth back before they really had access to a lot of paper. Um, many studies show that the art of origami actually began in Japan over a thousand years ago. And I thought that was really fascinating too since the Olympics are in Japan this year. Um, so this is a fun craft that you can actually wear, but you get to make it. You can make one in each color and let the bracelets remind you of the strength of God's love for you. So if you have origami paper, that's great. You're already a step ahead, a, a few steps ahead. Um, if you don't have origami paper, what I need you to do is get one sheet of just like white computer paper and then one sheet of blue, yellow, red, green, and or black if you wanna make a black bracelet. Um, so what we're gonna do is, Jeannie will be making a yellow bracelet. I'm gonna make a blue one. Get your white paper and your blue paper on top of each other so that they're lined up in the top left corner. So you're gonna have some extra color probably showing. And what you're gonna do is take a little tape measure or a ruler. So real origami paper is six inches by six inches. So I'm gonna use a little pen to mark six inches down and six inches wide on my paper. So parents, we're basically, we're just cutting a um, six by six sheet of paper. So Jeannie, what you can do is you can like trace the lines for six inches tall and trace a line for six inches wide. So okay. see how mine is okay. okay, so let's turn it this way. So six inches out, can you make, draw a line? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, maybe I might, can I not draw a little line right there? And then I need to start there and then draw a line all the way to the tip. Mm -hmm. You can cut it like you're already cut. Okay, and then we're going to do a line to that and just go all the way up on the inside. Let's see, I don't know if I can get it right. There you go. So can you hold yours up, Jeannie, too? Okay. So do you see how we've done a six inch line? down and then a six inch line across and what you're going to do is keep your papers lined up in that top left corner so that way you only have to measure once and you're going to cut both sheets of paper at the same time so parents what you're looking to have is a six inch by six inch white sheet and a six inch by six inch blue sheet or whatever color you're doing and you're going to tape or glue these together and yellow cut off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to glue those together. So just to remind you, this is what we're making, a little origami bracelet. Um, so these are the colors me and my mom are doing, yellow and blue, but you can do any other um, color of the Olympics. We, my mom also did black, green, and red, you can do other colors of the Olympics. Okay. So I've glued our two sheets of paper together. So one side has the color and the other side is white. Okay, so now what we're going to do, you're going to have to follow closely. Okay, Jeannie, see if you can watch me. So turn your paper so it's like a diamond. Okay, you're going to fold it almost exactly in half of the diamond. So see how that would be all the way in half? You're going to have the bottom part showing, so you don't pull it all the way down to the bottom. There you go. So can you hold yours up? Okay. About halfway, like a bandana. Yep, it should look like a little bandana. That's right. Now you're going to fold a little tiny line down. Like backwards. Backwards. So Emma's, can you see how that's now like a little tiny fold? So there's my bandana. And then I just took a little line and folded it down like that. Behind. 
Then you keep going that same direction, fold another one. You do it really tight because this paper is pretty thick. Origami paper is really thin, so it's actually a little easier to fold. Then you just keep going back. And then you keep going back again until you've covered all the way down your bracelet. So then um, to keep that little tip, see how the little tip of the triangle pops up? You can just put a little bit of glue on the tip of that triangle. And then it'll step down like that. And then you just go like that. Yep, let me see your shutter. And, and then with this, you just turn it this way and then... You yep, and then we're going to staple it shut. Or if you have some tape, you can tape it shut. But we use hot glue. So now it could be kind of hard to twist. Like I said, origami paper is a little thin. So if you want to save this um, idea on how to fold it and go get some origami paper, that could be a great craft to do once you have some actual paper. And so you just fold it together yeah. like this. My bracelet isn't very, well. So here's Jeannie's yellow bracelet. And then this is my mom's. Yeah. Not very big, but small. <laughs> Well, you want to try to pull the ends barely touching. You can staple them right there. And then look, that's how you make them. And these both look the same, except this one's a little wrinkly, probably because of nothing. And this is how you make the origami bracelet. It might be easier to wrap some tape around the edges to get it to hold. I actually don't have any tape out here with me right now. But we have hot glue and there we go. So there's our little bracelets. Do you want to hold them up again? And again, you can do these in red, black, green, blue, green, yellow. So and then you can wear them on your arm. Thank you for joining us today. Bye-bye.